Chapter 20 really summed the book up for me. You must increase your awareness and control to be media literate, and this book also provided many ways in order to do that. My first connection was to an article that was semi-unrelated to media and media literacy specifically, but it could be connected because it too was about evaluating one's goals. This article focused on aligning goals with personal philosophies and beliefs, and then using these goals to drive one's life. Determining one's goals is very important in media literacy process because you need to think about these goals when assessing your media exposure. One should make a decision based on their long-term and short-term goals. My last connection to this chapter was a section about interpersonal techniques and how parents try to manage a child's media exposure. This topic was particularly interesting to me because I'm studying to be an elementary school teacher. And the use of rules to manage a child's media exposure is one that I have considered because it was in fact what my parents chose to use for myself. But I also had friends whose parents chose the co-viewing technique. The text provided examples for children's behaviors depending on which technique, techniques were chosen. And from what I have experienced, the text was spot on with the attitudes and actions of the child depending on which technique. Chapter 20 was a good reminder of all that I have read and the rest of the text. Thanks for watching.